Let's take a look at the mole ratios for N2, H2, and NH3 here. And the first thing we need to do when we look at mole ratios, we need to balance the equation. So this is the balanced equation. And although it's not written, we assume there to be a one here. And these coefficients, we use these to find the ratio for N2, H2, and NH3. For example, we could say the ratio of N2 to H2 is one to three. That's the ratio. Or you could say H2 to NH3 is three to two. So the coefficients from the balanced equation, that's what gives us the mole ratio. And we can use this to solve problems. For example, if we're given 0 0.5 moles of H2, we want to know how many moles of NH3 we get when this reaction takes place. We can use the mole ratio. One way to think about it is we have 0 0.5 is to 3 as x is to 2. We can just set this up as a ratio. Then we cross multiply, we get 3 times x, 3x equals 0.5 times 2. That's just 1. So x equals 1 over 3, or we could say 0 0.33. That's rounded. So we end up with 0 0.33 moles of NH3 if we start with 0.5 moles of hydrogen, and that's with excess nitrogen here. So we could just set these ratios up like this and solve our problem here. The other way to do this is use conversion factors. You get the same answer, but teachers kind of like that way. Let's show you that. So we start with our 0.5 moles of H2, just something I made up for the problem, and we're gonna multiply by the mole ratio. We have two moles of NH3 for every three moles of H2. So we get that from the balanced equation, and we want moles H2 on the bottom, because then we can cancel it out. So we're just multiplying 0.5 times two over three. We end up with 0.33 moles of NH3, and that's what we found when we just used the ratios here. So either way, that's how we can use mole ratios with N2 plus H2 yields NH3. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.